Good afternoon. Today is August 1st, uh, 2020, and I want to show you all uh, the potatoes. We're letting them dry here. We haven't washed them because the idea is we're going to store them, but we don't want to store them where they're humid. Uh, this is part of what uh, we have harvested. Um, so, you know, just when the pandemic started, we started planting. And so here is the crop. Very little crop, but it's just enough to feed the family, uh, you know, friends and family, that kind of stuff. And we still have more. All right, guys, uh, the reason I'm filming today is because, well, oh, we, we can see all these hoses. I'm working on a system of water distribution. We see again the ramp pump, it's working, and it's right now providing water to uh, the fountain. Uh, the overflow of that uh, goes to two parts. Actually, no, the drainage goes to the little pond here, and we see it here, it's draining. And the overflow, in other words, when it fills up, it goes to the 25,000 liter uh, underground water tank. All right, so we have that system there. Right now, I'm experimenting because we see another very big hose, a two inch hose that is coming from, well, all the way the greenhouse. Um, if you could see, I'm, I'm gonna walk right there. So what's happening is um, that greenhouse, well, it has a plastic uh, roof. So when the water uh, flows, it's really, really clean as far as rain is concerned. All right, so it has an overflow. Uh, it's basically, no, it has a gutter, a plastic gutter, where what it does, it collects the water in one of the tanks that is right behind the plastic. So right now, I'm gonna go in, show you Angela's greenhouse. And right now I'm just testing to make sure the system's working, working well. So the idea is we have rainwater, we have city water, we have uh, the water from the ramp pump, and we have water that comes from high up in the mountains. That's another source. But the idea is to provide a really intelligent system here. And so, oh, look at the beautiful plants Angela has. All right, so here's what we have. All right, so when it rains, the water gets collected in this plastic gutter, and it then pours it onto that tank. That tank fills up, and at the base, there's a hose that is used for the irrigation of the greenhouse. So the water uh, actually ends up, we don't need to use a pump just gravity alone. Now, the overflow of that tank goes into this white tank, and we obviously put that mesh to make sure it's filtered because, well, leaves and just debris um, gets it. We see a little hose right now that's flowing, you know, pouring some water onto this tank. That is the water that comes from the, up in the mountains. And so that one is about three quarter inch. No, it's actually half an inch. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is. It is three quarter inch uh, hose, uh, it's flowing. So now this tank, the overflow is what's going on to that big two inch hose that takes it all the way to the, mm, the pond. Up here, we have the 6,000 liter tank. And so that's where we get the city water. And so when you see that uh, pipe, the white pipe that's going up, the PVC half inch pipe that goes up, that fills it up. But um, next to it, actually, I don't know if you get to see that it's like a little, uh, I mean, to the left of where the pipe actually goes in the tank, there's actually an overflow, it's already set in, uh, area, little hole. So I could actually have, if I wanted to, I could have the ramp pump fill that tank as well. And then the overflow would come to these systems of tanks and then provide water to, um, and the systems of tanks, I'm sorry, provide water to the fountain and then the ponds. The only problem is uh, the water that comes from the city is chlorinated and you don't want to use that for uh, when you're irrigating plants. You, you, you definitely don't want to do that. So what I'm thinking of doing is right here next to this, I'm going to have another tank because I need to elevate a little bit. Uh, the level here does not give me uh, enough height where I can actually have the fountain working. It, it falls like 50, 50 centimeters below. Uh, and so I need to raise this, say about a meter, a meter and a half. So 
Over here, I'm going to put a little tower with a tank. And so the ramp pump is going to fill that one. From the bottom part, I'm going to go and provide water to this. So we always have water for irrigation from the ramp pump. And when it's not being used, we close it. And then the overflow will go in to provide water to uh, the fountain. And then that will overflow either into the 25,000 liter underground water tank or and or actually both uh, the two ponds. So this is this is how you get it done. You know, you make sure you maximize your resources. And here in El Retiro, um, rainfall is it's pretty pretty uh, plentiful. We get about two thousand millimeters of rain per year. And sorry about the mess, but we are right now testing things. Once these things are done, it's going to be buried, and it'll be looking fine. Um, the other thing is I, I haven't shown you much uh, the the pond because uh, it's it's also working and it has an overflow area that will be used for irrigation. I want to show you that as well. Um, so right now we're testing all these things. It's always activity taking place here. So sometimes the farm looks messy because we're working on it until we finally have all all the ducks in a row. So again, you see water's flowing right here and that's coming from the fountain. And then this one is coming from those tanks that I showed you, the overflow of that. Okay, so now we have some plants. Next week we'll have some carp. Uh, and then this is the drainage uh, area. And then that is being, uh, it goes, there's a pipe here and you can see the flow. And it goes to basically water the fields. We, uh, if we filter it, we could actually use it for when we will have uh, the, har um, the crop of granadilla, uh, the passion fruit uh, venture that we're going to get involved in. But look, the water gets used. We're doing what a forest would do, retain the water up in the mountain as much as we can and use it in multiple stages. So, you know. We're not just letting it fall, we're using it in multiple ways. Again, it rains, fills those tanks, the overflow of the tanks are used for the irrigation in the greenhouse, the overflow of that goes into another tank that brings the water through this big hose that will bring it here. There will be a tower with a 500 liter tank where we're gonna put the water that comes from the ramp pump going there, that too will feed the tank that's used for irrigation and then that water will go straight into the fountain so we will have anytime it rains and this is why we put a two inch pipe anytime it rains it, it rains a lot so i want to try to capture as much water as i can um so again honestly this this is about eighteen thousand liters in this tank more or less down below uh we've calculated that the reservoir has between 30 to 40,000 liters. Then we have 25,000 liters here and plus all the other tanks. Uh, we, we have quite a bit of water, but it's because we've made it a point to actually, you know, work intelligently with this precious look, liquid. All right, from Las Cordilleras in El Retiro, Antioquia, and with the view of uh, the overflow of the water that's coming up from high in the mountains, I will catch you later.